Okay guys, today I'm going to be show, demonstrating a, a new uh, third party app for those of you that have jailbroken iPhones from uh, Rest in Peace Dev a company and the program is called Kate so let me just go ahead and show you how this works Okay, so I've already installed it I've already gone to install it and put it in there it's the one in the top corner right there a little bug looking one called Kate click on that, it loads up Okay, so these are all the um, all the things that you can adjust and change. These little this list right here. So obviously, I have everything selected except uh, the calendar adjustment. So I'm gonna click on that, select it. So after you've gone here, after you select all the ones you want to use on the phone, you just click apply. The little loader screen installs that. After that, you're gonna want to do restart. Says the software was successfully installed. We recommend restarting your iPhone now to apply the changes. So I'm going to restart it. And this is going to take about uh, 20 seconds or so. So I'll probably speed the video up here. Okay. So we're back. So now the first thing you can notice is on my uh, lock screen, it shows a calendar. So if I have any, uh, if I have any events scheduled on my calendar, they'll show up like right there on the 29th, which is today. And it has, well, you can't really see the screen, but there's, you know, the little dots in the bottom right corner on the calendar, which usually shows up on your iPhone's calendar. So that's obviously the first one of the first adjustments you can make. So after you've chosen which uh, which things you want to adjust on there from, from here, from the Kate menu, now you're going to go to your settings menu. And when you scroll down, there should be a new thing down there, rest in peace dev. Select that. So these are the different things you have options to do. So I'll just go through one of them, quickly go through it. So this is where you keep track of your licenses. You can restart your springboard. It also allows you to enable the screenshotter, which um, if you've heard, they've figured out a way to where you can, on this one right here, the way you, it works is all you have to do is switch your iPhone to uh, mute while you, have the, while you have the home button pressed down. So I, I guess I can demonstrate that real fast. Holding the home button. Oops, if I could switch it into... See how it flashes like that? It takes a picture automatically and puts it into your uh, into your pics folder on your iPhone. So if you if I was gonna go to the pics, I'd probably find that I could show you that really quick actually. Photos, camera roll. There it is. And that's the that is the snapshot I just took on the iPhone. So kind of a cool feature. It, uh, I guess it enables you to not have to have like a screenshot or I can't remember what some of those applications are called that allows you to do that. So you could just have just these settings on here to be able to do that. So that's that folder here. Next one is system font. So with system font, you can actually set it up, your, your iPhone, you can set it up to use a different font besides the one it usually uses. Like I think an Arial or Helvetica is what it normally uses. So if I wanted to use Marker Felt, I could select Marker Felt, go back to system font, restart it. Whenever I restart, all my fonts will be that, that Marker Felt font, which is kind of cool. Smart Dialer, this actually allows you to, to search uh, through your contacts what, as you type in the numbers. And so like these are different criteria here. Search from two digits, search from company names, phone numbers, including area code. Um, another cool thing on here is it actually lets you, on keypad feedback you see here, it says tone, obviously when you type, when you start dialing on the phone, it makes a noise when you dial. But also you can turn on vibration. So when you dial, as you press the numbers on your phone, it vibrates real subtly, almost kind of like, almost has like a tactile feedback type of thing. Uh, I leave it off though because it's pretty annoying after the first time you use it. So that's that. Smart dialer. Uh, equalizer, you can actually adjust the levels on your iPhone, high, lows, and mids. Pretty cool. Don't really touch that too much though. Facelift, this is a really really nice one. This almost is like um, for summer board, if you have summer board themes, it keeps track of your themes and help, as well as lets you adjust lots of other things as well. You can display your wallpaper, you can choose a different wallpaper, you can dim the wallpaper, let me see here. Turn off your text labels, you can change the colors of those, labels in the background. Oh, it keeps jumping on me here. You can show the background, you can make your dock reflective. Another cool feature I turned on is you can have five icons in your dock, which is what I have right now on mine. So, some other different options right there, a lot of cool things you can tweak right there calendar like I just showed you whenever you go to your home whenever you go to your lock screen I'll show you your calendar up in that corner right there so you can do calendar as default mode you can show another view if you want to turn that off you can turn that off 
we can turn it on. Oh no, let me turn it on now. There you go. Put birthdays, all all, the, all different types of things for the calendar. The calendar options as well. Privacy, you can have it to where uh, it doesn't alert you, I guess, whenever you get a, a text message. You can show everything. You can hide your 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 text messages. You can hide your uh, your sender and text. Only sound notification. You can suppress everything, which is pretty neat. And you can also add custom sounds too. So right now I have I seek you. I don't think it's gonna play for it loud, but it basically just changes the sound it makes whenever you get a text message, which is pretty cool. You can turn on night mode if you want to. And uh, which enables so I guess it doesn't uh, it doesn't if you get any text messages in the middle of the night it won't uh, make any noise or anything or wake you up and you can only you can already see um, since I changed my fonts the numbers are in marker felt that font I just changed it to I'm not sure if you can tell right there so I will leave this off because I like getting my text messages even if it's at night it's the calendar privacy and the reminder another cool one so for reminder this is really neat because it'll whenever you get a text message. Or, any, or a phone call and say you're away from your phone and when you come back you know your screen's black you don't know if you just got a text message or a phone call unless you actually you know wake it up and then look at it and say oh yeah I got a missed call or whatever so if it just sits there you're not gonna know but the cool thing about this is if you get a text message or if you get a phone call and if it's just sitting on there on your desk you can actually tell it to remind you in intervals so like say every two minutes if I walk to my desk and my I just got a phone call and I didn't know about it every two minutes my phone is gonna make a beeping noise to let me know hey you got a, a missed call turn on your phone you know, wake it up so you can see who it is, which is pretty nice. Especially when um, you know, if you get a, if you get a lot of text messages when you're not in the office or when you're away from your phone, you come back and you don't, you don't even think to look at it sometimes, and it could sit there for an hour until you actually turn on your iPhone and like, oh, I just missed a text message from an hour ago, you know. So this will make sure that you don't you don't lose track of those, and so it can remind you with either sound or vibration, or you can leave both of them on. A really cool feature. I love this one a lot because that happens to me pretty frequently. So those are the different options that we have here for Kate and I believe the uh, Rest in Peace Dev is going to be adding more to this list here. And I'll post the uh, the links and the um, the price of this. There's different, uh, there's different. it's a monthly thing or a, a one-time use or I think there's, there's a couple different versions or different ways you can activate it that you can pay for it. So I'll post uh, that information on the website and uh, this has been Kate from Rest in Peace Dev. Thanks for watching another video review on buymeaniphone.com.